guys. Alrighty, so today we are flipping ahead. <clears throat> it is Sunday, so we are flipping ahead to day 53, if you're following along in the book. Um, and that's because we're going to start into the seasons and then the background of the Sabbaths and then finally start into Beltane on Wednesday. So, um, today is... Is today day 24 or 25? I don't know. It'll say on the title of the video. But we're on day 53 in the book. And we are doing Seasons of Spirit. Um, so, it kind of goes through and talks about the four different seasons and why they are so important to spirituality and spiritual development and what each season brings to us spiritually. Um, there's a couple different bullets here. Uh, some of the features that share commonality with spiritual development with the seasons are both spiritual and seasonal progressions are cyclical. There's no forward movement per se. Both uh, represent perpetual cycles of change. So there's constant change going through the seasons as well as your spiritual development. Both the changing seasons and spiritual development are a process of unfolding. Seasonal changes come upon us gradually in tune with the right planetary conditions. Similarly, your spiritual understanding unfolds in a gradual manner, facilitated by certain conditions such as regular spiritual practices. The seasons do not strive to change their inherent nature. Winter does not try to be something more or less than cold, rainy, or snowy. It realizes its full potential of being itself fully. Similarly, you express your greatest spiritual power by being what you are completely. I love this bullet. Um, so repressing your fullest expression is a dark, unhealthy, and magically destructive path. Love that bullet. Absolutely love it. That's just spot on. And it's a really big thing that a lot of people uh, miss when they're looking at the similarities between the two. Um, and when they're looking at themselves spiritually, a lot of people are trying to be something that they're not. And when you, when you repress your full self and your true self, you can't progress spiritually. Um, and then, all that ever changes about the seasons is your experience of them. The same holds true of spiritual changes. You can live in reaction to the seasons, loving or hating them, or you can live in harmony with them, learning from their pace, their rhythm, and their very presence. Similarly, you can live in reaction to your own true nature by either loving or hating yourself, or you can simply accept what is. So today, uh, we are our exercise is learning your season. Now, I know that there's some of you that are in the southern hemisphere of the world, and or, excuse me, the other part of you which are up in the northern hemisphere, like I am. Um, up in the northern hemisphere, we are transitioning from winter into spring. Um, I'm a little bit farther north. I'm up in Michigan, so I'm still getting the cold 20 degree nights and waking up with frost on the ground and still have huge piles of snow, whereas I've seen other people that are other places like California and, um, you know, even down in Ohio where they have no more snow and everything's beautiful. So it's a little bit different here transitioning. Um, but, it, I, oh, I love it. I love this spring. I'm so excited. So, depending on where you are, today's task involves determining your individual spiritual season. To begin, review the list below that describes the seasons as metaphors for your current spiritual life phase. So, your season for what it is right now um, <clears throat> is what it is, you know, whether you're in spring or fall or winter or where, whatever you are. What we're doing right now is we're not looking at the seasons in actuality, we're looking at how the seasons are in our own life. You know, it may be winter outside, but depending on what the metaphors are, you may be feeling summer in your own life. So, for spring, that means newness, beginnings, birth, potential, seeding, awakening, freshness, and individual way. For the summer, it's achievement, fruition, full potential, activity, growth, externalized expression, and group way. For the fall, it's ripening, wisdom, maturity, reaping, receiving, 
realization, gratitude, and reflection. And for winter, it is silence, internal expression, inward movement, release, and repose. Um, right now, oof, I don't really know what I would be right now, actually. I would probably be, I would probably be between, uh, probably spring, just because um, I've got my new job. Um, I'm about to find out whether I have a job or not in the next week, so um, that's something new. I've never experienced the possibility of losing a job before, so that's one way to look at it, I guess. Um, and if I do lose it, then I will have a new job to look for. Um, I'm getting married in two months, exactly two months today, so that's something new, that's something to look forward to. Um, that's definitely new beginnings. Um, so I've actually got a lot, a lot going on, you know, in that aspect. But then in another aspect, it's fall because it's coming to the close of my, um, my school semester. You know, that's coming to a close at the end of, close to the end of this month, beginning of next month. Um, you know, so there's just, there's a lot going on right now. And you can be a couple different seasons depending on where you are in your life. So, it continues by saying, perhaps you have additional or alternative seasonal associations. If you do, please take time to add those to the words listed above. As you consider your life as it is right now, which season seems to represent your current phase? Which represents your spiritual life? Honor your seasonal phases today by dressing in seasonal colors, eating seasonal foods, or listening to music you associate with your season. It is a good practice to periodically note your current spiritual season, so be sure to try this exercise again, perhaps at the next full moon. So, that is today, day 53. Um, tomorrow we will be doing day 54, which is celebrating life seasons, and then we'll be going over the Sabbaths the next day. So, I hope you guys have an awesome Sunday, and I will see you tomorrow.